Hello everyone, I am KWT Shamali presenting you with our research CNN based fundus images classification for glaucoma identification. These are the contributors for this study. Glaucoma is on the rise. In year 2020, the World Glaucoma Association estimated that there are 78 million people have glaucoma worldwide. They have predicted this amount will be grown up to 112 million in year 2020. Let's have a quick introduction to our research. Glaucoma is a fatal worldwide disease that can cause blindness after cataracts for people over 40-60 years. Generally, treatments planning of glaucoma release on images such, such as retinal fundus and OCT scans. Vision loss or the blindness can usually be prevented when glaucoma is detected early. The motivation behind our research is computational models can be used as the second opinion in the glaucoma diagnosis process, then address the issue due to misdiagnosis and finally better classification with fundus images. Objectives of our researcher explore the literature related to deep learning and computer vision techniques for retinal fundus images, then design and develop a convolution based fundus images classification to support glaucoma diagnosis process, and finally analyze the accuracy of the classification results. These are the existing works with the best results carried out in our research field. From these studies, Reheman and others have obtained accuracy of 97.8 for the glaucoma classification. This is the methodology of our research. The first step is explore the existing literature, techniques and data set as well. The second step is apply the data pre-processing techniques to remove the unwanted noise as well as employ the data augmentation techniques to reduce the chance of overfitting and to improve the generalization of the algorithm. The third step is the develop the deep learning method to classify with different data namely fundus images into group of similar details. And Last step is analyze the normal and glaucoma eye using classifying data with the best performances. This is the high level view of the methodology. Firstly, we utilize fundus images from the two data set and then employ the two different image preprocessing methods namely Contrast limited adaptive histogram equalization and the dilation. Histogram equalization is commonly used for image preprocessing method for enhancing the image quality and the contrast. Furthermore, dilation is a morphological operation used to improve the image brightness and increase the size of the images. After then apply the different augmentation techniques to avoid the data overfitting and address the class imbalance problem. Furthermore, fine tune the three deep learning model called Inception V3, VGG19 and ResNet15. Finally, after apply the five fold cross validation evaluate the accuracy, F1 score, specificity, sensitivity and area under the curve. For this experiment, we have used two different datasets namely RIM1 and ACRIMA dataset. 
RIM1 includes total of 942 images and ACRIMA include the 705 total images. For the implementation, we have performed three deep learning architectures. The first architecture is the Inception V3. In there, we utilize the Keras API Inception V3 model, which was pre-trained on the ImageNet dataset. As the modification, the global average pooling layer was placed after the Inception V3 model to reduce the parameters and then followed by the dense layer and lastly added the softmax layer. The second architecture is the VGG19 architecture. In this experiment, pre-trained VGG19 was fine-tuned. As the modification, the global average pooling layer is followed by the last three newly added layers, dropout layer with 0.5 red, dense layer with relu activation function and finally softmax layer with two outputs. The last architecture is the ResNet 50 architecture. Uh, in this experiment, pre-trained ResNet 50 was fine-tuned. As the modification, the global average pooling layer is followed by the dropout layer with 0.5 red, dense layer with relu activation function and finally softmax layer with two outputs. The reason behind to consider the each layers for this experiment are global average pooling layer reduce the number of parameters and the amount of computation performed in network. Dense layer is used to classify the fundus images. Uh, then dropout layer aid in the prevention of overfitting as well as the speeding up of the training process. Then the last layer which is the softmax layer act as an activation function determining the probability of each class and classifying the target images. Let's take a look at the implementation results of each CNN architecture. The results obtained for the training accuracy, validation accuracy, training loss and validation loss of each CNN architecture for each dataset are shown in here. We have trained the both datasets for, for 150 epochs during this comparative study. It's observable that when the number of epochs increases, the model performance becomes better and leads to a high accuracy level as well as avoiding overfitting. The first two graphs show the results of Inception V3 on RIM1 and ACRIMA datasets. RIM1 dataset yielded accuracy of 96.56 and ACRIMA dataset yielded accuracy of 98.52. In those graphs, we can't see any clear signs of overfitting since our model performs well on training data and testing data. In second architecture, RIM1 dataset obtained accuracy of 94.95 and ACRIMA dataset obtained accuracy of 92.64 VGG19 architecture. In this diagram also, VGG19 model performs well on tra training data as well as on testing data. Therefore, we can't see any overfitting issue in those graphs. The last architecture which is ResNet 50 attained accuracy of 95.49 on RIM1 and 95.58 on ACRIMA datasets. Those diagrams performs good results and works well on training data as well as testing data too tightly. Now let's move on to the summary of results. According to the performance of each CNN architecture, Inception V3 on RIM1 dataset achieves 96.56 accuracy and the least test loss. Further, Inception V3 on the ACRIMA datasets obtain 98.52 accuracy with the less testing loss. We have compared the results of proposed study with the existing related studies. 
Among those considered latest related studies on glaucoma classification using RIM1 and ACRIMA datasets, many studies have, have considered the VGG and ResNet architectures. When look at the related studies, the highest accuracy is 99.53 which used the dense that model and they have not resolved the class imbalance problem during their research. However, we have addressed the class imbalance issue and applied the different augmentation techniques. In our study, we have shown an accuracy of 98.52 using the Inception V3 model for the ACRIMA datasets. Thus, the aim of this comparative study is achieved by producing the better results using DLT. Moving on to the comparison with the existing studies, the highest accuracy of 99.53 is shown by Sring and others using the dense net model. In there, they have suggested a glaucoma screening method using two stages. In the first stage, optic disc segmentation has been performed using Deep Lab V3 plus architecture. In the second stage, a pre-trained deep neural network has been employed for image classification. The fundus image based automatic glaucoma assessment method was proposed by Dias Pinto and others and shown considerable result on ACRIMA and RIM1 datasets using different deep learning models. Among those, the models VGG19 has shown accuracy of 19.69. Furthermore, Singh and others implemented glaucoma diagnosis approach using Inception V3 model and obtained 92.51 accuracy on RIM1 dataset. Then, Rehman and others have proposed deep CNN architectures based to stage glaucoma classification method. They have employed four different CNN architectures and among them Inception ResNet V2 performed best accuracy of 99% on ACRIMA dataset. In proposed method, Inception V3 model on ACRIMA dataset obtained 98.52 accuracy. However, from the existing studies, Sreng and others shown the highest accuracy of 99.53 and the major drawback of their research is they have only identified the class imbalance in RIM1 dataset but this has not been resolved during their research. Looking at the future works of this study, as the first point, the proposed method can be improved as the ensemble method since ensemble method can better prediction and achieve better performance than any single contributing model, then it reduces the spread in the average skill of a predictive model and improve the average prediction performances. As the second point, this approach feasible to deploy as a tool with interactive interfaces. Then in the third point, this study can be extended to experiment with other possible deep learning techniques to achieve optimal results. Finally, the fourth method can be implemented in low computational power with constrained resources to deploy a glaucoma diagnosis support system in real world setting. As the conclusion, this paper presented deep learning approaches to classify fundus images and we have proposed three fine-tuned architectures based on the Inception V3, VGG19 and ResNet50 to classify glaucoma and normal images. Then we have employed dilation method which is not highlighted in most existing studies related in glaucoma classification. Furthermore, to address the class imbalance issues in the dataset, we perform data augmentation techniques. After applying the five-fold cross-validation, the Inception V3 showed the best results that is 98.52 accuracy among the other CNN architectures. Now I have come to the end of the presentation. Thank you.